Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on surface area. The total surface area of any given 3D object or solid is the sum of all the areas of the individual faces that make up that 3D object or solid. Let's look at the cube which is a three-dimensional object with six faces and all the sides are the same length. So if we just take one of the faces, say this one here, the area of one face is s times s which is s squared so the surface area of the entire cube will be six times s squared square units. So the the units we use are square units because it's area. For the rectangular prism, if we have a rectangular prism where this side is L, okay that side there is L, here we have H and sorry over here over here we have D okay so we've got L there we have H here and we have D there the surface area will be 2HL because this green area is HL but there's also another one opposite towards the back that's why it's 2HL then 2DH the orange one is DH but there's also one on the other side and 2LD the top is LD but there's one on the bottom so if you add those three up the answer will be square units because it's area for the triangular prism all we do there we have a right angle triangle here with a base of A a height of B the hypotenuse is C and we have L for the length and it is a prism because that triangle and that triangle are exactly the same and they're joined by lines so the surface area will be half AB times 2 that is half the base times the perpendicular height that gives you the area of that triangle but we have to multiply it by 2 because we also have that one so that's that part there plus BL BL is this part here at the back that one there plus CL CL is this slanted face here plus AL now AL is the base see so that base there is A times L so if you add all those up the answer will be in square units let's look at some examples here's a cube with a side of 8 centimeters the surface area of one face is 8 centimeters by 8 centimeters which is 64 square centimeters so the surface area of the cube is 6 times 64 square centimeters which is 384 square centimeters for the rectangular prism we have a prism 9 centimeters 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters the surface area is 2 times 9 times 3 because 9 times 3 is the base but you've also got the top so that's why you've got 2 plus 2 times 9 times 4 that's the front the front here and the back the one at the back that's 2 times 9 times 4 and then 2 times 4 times 3 the side on the right here and the the face there on the left so when you work all those out 9 3s are 27 that gives us 54 because you have to double it 9 4s are 36 that's 72 because you have to double it and 4 3s are 12 which is 24 because you have to double it when you add those together you get 150 square centimeters now here is the triangular prism okay so there's your triangle there's your triangle and they're joined by three lines so the surface area will be if we take this front triangle half by 12 by 9 that's half the base times the perpendicular height we multiply that by 2 because you also have a triangle there plus 15 centimeters by 11 centimeters which is this slopey side here plus 12 centimeters by 11 centimeters which is the base and finally plus 9 centimeters by 11 centimeters which is the back so that's each of the areas there they're the two triangles added together and they're the three individual faces when you add those together you get 504 
square centimetres for the surface area of the triangular prism. So this video has introduced the idea of surface area and we've seen three very popular solids or 3D objects and we've shown how to find the surface area of each of those 3D objects or solids.